You know what I mean? It's a it's a big honor. It's an honor to have my teammates see me as a leadership as a in a leadership role on this team. And uh, it's just a great feeling to know that guys have confidence in me to lead and have confidence in me that I'm going to give them confidence and that I have that I trust them on the field and I trust them off the field. So it's just it's just an honor. It's great. This was a big name defense last year. It's not no names that you have, just guys that uh, got some playing time. But tell me what you foresee as far as the Husky defense this season. Uh, right now, just like you said, I think I think we got a lot of unsung heroes, and I think that we're we're going to step it up. And from this defense, I think you're going to you guys are going to be surprised. We're going to be so tight knit that I don't think we're going to fall off that much. Uh, I don't think we're going to fall off at all, actually. So I think it's going to be one one good defense again. Uh, we're not we're not stopping that tradition here. I think that we've had good defenses in the past, and we're going to keep it going. Just regular season opener, how, how fired up are you for Friday? I mean, man, I, I'm fired up. I mean, it's the last, it's the last season opener. Uh, you know, this is my last one. It just I don't know what to do. I mean, I got butterflies now just preparing for it. Uh, I'm just, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, you know. That's all I can really say. You guys get Boise State. What, what do you expect from the Broncos? Uh, you know, we just expect the team that's going to come in and they're going to be prepared, just like we're going to be prepared. And they're going to be ready to ball. And it's just going to be a boxing match. Who's going to stop swinging? That's who's going to win the game. And who's going to fight back is going to be the one who's going to be winning. And just the atmosphere there. Uh, not a huge town, not a huge stadium, but they love their football. What kind of oh, yeah. atmosphere are you expecting in that stadium? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm expecting, expecting a loud, crazy atmosphere, crazy. I don't know if it's going to be like the dogs, like the Huskies in the league. And nothing, nothing, nothing like being at home. But uh, it's going to be loud there, and we're going to be ready to go. And we, we know how we know. We, we have no problem with noise. Uh, we play in this stadium here all the time, and we're one of the loudest venues around. So we're going to be ready to go. We can't wait. A lot of that coaching staff worked at Boise State yeah. before coming yeah, here. Yeah. Is there any extra oomph for you guys to make sure it's a successful return for your, for your coaches? Um, I think definitely for the players. I think for the players, we definitely want to get the win. And just to boost our coaches' confidence in us, too, and just make them make them feel good that they're able to just get another win. But it's just another game for us. We can't we can't think about it as it's just because we're going to go play Boise that if we got to put more on it. We just got to know every game that we play is the biggest game, and that's how we think of every game coming up this season. Yeah. Thank you. You were a uh, radio intern this summer? Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what would you, what would, you have, what would the, radio, what would the uh, radio guy ask Travis Feeney about the first game? Uh, what would they ask me? <laughs> They'd be like, Travis, so what are you going to do in this game? Are you, how many tackles are you going to make? Uh, are you going to get a couple sacks? That's, that's what they'll ask me. And then are you going to give us a shout out? Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, nah, nah, they just asked me, how, how's the defense going to do? How's the offense? How are they going to prepare? How, how are you guys feeling about this season coming up? How are you feeling about the game? And I just tell them we're feeling good. We're ready to go. Why are you interested in sports radio? Do you think that's a career for you? Yeah, I, def I definitely want to be a sports analyst. At the end of the day, I want to, I want to talk sports. I love to talk sports. My mom and my dad always told me. You always bring up all these facts and this history of all these players and stuff. Why don't you just talk about it? I said, you know what? Why not? I mean, at first, I was going to be a business major, but I don't mind it now. I like it. I like it a lot, especially after my internship. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Well, it's been said that guys that can't play talk about it for a living. You know, that, I'm proof of that. But, but you can do both. That's great. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I mean, oh, yeah. you like it, don't you? Oh, it's, been, it's been good to me. Yeah. All right, Travis. Thank Travis, you very much. Does sure. being a 12-point underdog motivate you guys? Oh yeah, no, nah, definitely. It definitely motivates us to prove them wrong. You know, and I mean, the guys probably don't know that, but I mean, I've known this. I've known all the things that's been said, and it just pushes us to be better and just play harder. Awesome. Thanks, Travis. Yeah, no problem. Yo, what's up, boss? <laughs>